alam nyo, somebody has to hold my fictional poodle kasi nung sinabi talaga ni Philly kay Sam na back off my man, girl, I was ready. I was ready to throw hands with this fictional character kasi I'm with you, queen. We are going to talk about Heartless Nostalgia's The Broken Vow Part 1. Let's go. As usual, ang ating disclaimers. This is Booktube. Booktube is a subculture community dito sa YouTube kung saan ang mambabasa ay nagre-react tungkol sa mga stories na kanilang binasa para sa future na mambabasa. Kayo yon. Kung ikaw ang author or member ka ng community nitong author na to, please note that this video is not meant to hate, berate, humiliate, or cause tea or drama sa yo sa inyo at sa community nyo. I'm not here for that. We're not here for that. We are just here for the story. I know, sira sira da yung ano ko, yung copy ko, kasi number one, <laughs> number one sa inis ko, minsan kay Philly, I'm like, I can't help it, okay? There I was in my humble abode, enjoying what is remaining of my vacation for Holy Week. Alam nyo yun? Tapos may mga scenes ako dito na nababasa. And I'm like... March. So anyway, ayun nga. Kaya ganito yung copy ko. Pagpasensyahan nyo na, okay? Also, I will be referencing parts, maybe dialogues or scenes dito sa story na to. So... Spoilers ahead. As you can see, dito pa lang sa title nitong libro, may nakalagay na part 1. Ibig sabihin nun, itong libro na to or itong story na to will come out in parts. Right now, we only have part 1 of the story. Ang nakakaalam lang kung ilang parts talaga ang ilalabas ng Bliss Books ay ang editor sa tang author mismo, okay? Maybe someone from printer also knows but I don't know anymore. As you can see, this is currently in book form. Pero kung wala pa kayong budget pang bilhin itong libro na to, you may read the story up on Wattpad. It is free. Links of the Wattpad story down below. This book is published under Bliss Books, the official Wattpad partner here in the Philippines. At pinablish lang siya nitong 2023, which is, oh yeah, this year. The author is Heartless Nostalgia. She is also the writer of the Hot Bachelor series, also published under Bliss Books. Ang presyo ng mahiwagang libro na ito ay itong mataginting na 199 pesos only. At mabibili nyo siya sa lahat ng online stores ng Anvil Publishing. So meron sa Lazada, Shopee, The Works. As usual, as you can see, this is in paperback. Kaya natutupi-tupi natin siyang ganyan. At unfortunately, this book, upon buying it, does not have any author signature. Siguro kapag meron na kami mga events, pwede nyo dalihin ang mga copies nyo tapos dun kayo magpa author signature. Wouldn't that be nice? The papers are cream paper. At ang story ay nakasulat in Taglish language. Meron kayong 246 pages para basahin ang buong story. Ang genre naman nitong story na to ay new adult with mature content, romance, uh, comedy, may pagka-comedy siya, and of course, fiction. Yung narration naman nitong story na to ay first person POV. So, ibig sabihin no, nakabase ang narration niya dun sa first person, ay, dun sa sa main character natin, first person. So, yun, basta first person POV. So, babasahin ko na muna para sa inyo yung summary nitong story na to. Philomena Diane Suarez is an aspiring pediatrician. She's pretty, smart, loud, and a former reina ng dinibdibang lupa ng San Isidro. Philly believed in study first, Love life later. Kaya nang makuha niya ang mga pangarap at malapit ng lumampas sa kalendaryo, ang edad ay naisip niyang oras na para mapalitan na ang diploma bilang kayakap sa gabi. One day, on her way to a medical convention abroad, she met the cold, snob, hotshot of Igaini doctor, Dean Angelo Samaniego. In the briefest time there together, the two were attracted to each other. But... Jello wasn't into relationships. That's when Philly decided to pursue him. And fortunately, got the man of her dreams and married him. But the start of her happy ending is also the end of it. The next day, Jello met an accident and forgot all about her. Their marriage turned into nothing but mere forgotten devotions, empty promises, and broken vow. 
Again, ipapakita ko lang ang mahiwagang mature content because this story does involve mature content. When you're reading the story, you have one prologue, 16 chapters na pwede mong basahin. And since part 1 pa lang to, wala kayong makikita dito na special chapters. Now, let's talk about the characters. Yung main character natin dito sa story na to ay si Philly or si Philomena. So, si Philomena ang self-proclaimed reyna ng dinibdibang lupa ng San Isidro. Tama ba? I've been practicing on saying that for 5 minutes now. Ang hirap niyang sabihin, reyna ng dinibdibang lupa ng San Isidro. Reyna ng dinibdibang lupa ng San Isidro. Got it. So, at the beginning of the story, nung inintroduce siya sa atin, kakagraduate lang niya as doctor. Tapos, she's kind, she's good, she's funny, she gets along with some of the people she's working with. She wants to be a pediatrician kasi yung magulang niya, you know, they're pretty old na din. So, gusto niya siya naman na magpo-provide para sa kanila. I know, okay? Medyo controversial pa yung mga ganyang pointers about the kids providing for their parents, so on and so forth. Pero, with this one kasi... She really wants to take care of her parents kasi siya lang yung anak. And it's not because wala siyang choice. Um, talagang grateful lang talaga siya and she, she just wants to provide for them. I mean, after all ng hirap na ginawa ng magulang niya para lang mapag-aral siya. So, she wants to give something back. She is so good and I would say matalino din siya kasi walang engot na doktor. At napaka-focus niya sa trabaho niya kaya madaming naiinggit sa kanya. I have no time with hate. Dami ko nang problema sa buhay. Wala mangyayari kung papansinin ko ang pag-ayaw nila sa akin. Hindi ko nga alam paano naging ganito. Kaibigan ko naman si Aika sa med school noon. Pero nung madalas na akong pinupuri ng professors naming doktor sa written and oral recitations, pati sa practicals and internships, ay bigla na lang silang lumayo sa akin. Narinig ko minsan ay kumalat ang rumor na nilalandi ko raw ang mga professors. I even heard some na sinasabing I slept with them. And it hurt me because... I'm doing my best and studying fair and square. Pero gumagawa sila ng issue laban sa akin. Some of our classmates believe them, but my professors don't. At yon ang mas mahalaga. Natapos ako sa med school bilang suma cum laude, kaya ayos na. Di bali na yung sinasabi nila. Ang mahalaga yung magandang karir ko at nabubuhay ko ang pamilya ko. Their sharp words meant nothing to me now. What's more important is the words for my family and how much they are proud of me. Alam nyo, meron at merong mga tao na mas magaling talaga sa inyo. Huwag kayong maging envious or maging passive-aggressive sa mga kakilala nyo who's doing so much better than you. Number one, nakakapangit yan. Number two, hindi yan okay kay God. Number three, hindi nyo alam kung ano yung mga pinaghirapan nila sa buhay or kung ano yung mga nangyayari sa kanila behind the scenes. So, sino ka? Diba? Sino ka para siraan ang kapwa mo tao? Kaya huwag kayong magpapaapekto dyan sa mga marites na yan, okay? Dyan sa mga sinungaling na yan. Huwag kayong magpapaapekto sa mga ganyan. Babalik din ang karma sa kanila. Lahat ng ginagawa nilang masasama or sinasabing masasama tungkol sa'yo, babalik sa kanila yon Ten times more. She's also quite naive and irritating. And may pagka-pick me siya nung sa beginning of the story. At saka she wouldn't just stop talking about herself at yung mga delusions niya sa buhay. Tell you what, nung nakilala niya yung love interest niya sa buhay, she's like, I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. Mm, good side yan! Ibig sabihin lang, pwede ka na sa boyfriend material. Gusto mo bang mag-apply? No? She shrugged. Not interested. How about me? Baka pwede mag-apply. Dream on. Talagang magdi-dream ako, Doc. Sige na, game? Tanggapin mo na, girlfriend premium. One week free trial. I'd be super angry. Kasi she can't take a hint. She's annoyingly boisterous. That's her main trait. So I guess, you know, pretty privilege also plays a part dito sa story na to. Kasi let's be honest, kung pangit na tao or pangit yung itsura ng tao na nagaga nito, just ko, pretty sure hindi mo din naman siya papansinin. I can tell you for a fact na isa siyang marupok. Marupok! Look, being a pick-me is not an awe-inspiring trait, pero for this one, it's intentional. So it kind of works. Kasi her golden retriever energy matches his black cat energy. So maganda yung mix. And di ba sa rom-coms mga may ganun naman talaga? What I genuinely like about Philly's character is hindi siya parang 
demure, hindi siya parang sara-sara prinsesa. Tsaka kasi parang nakakawalang gana kung ganun yung main character na masyadong demure, masyadong pa-under, alam mo yun? So, I really appreciate na hindi siya ganun. Next up natin ay itong character ni Mr. Angelo or Jello. He is introduced to us as um, quiet, cold, and basta, he's very reserved, parang ganon. At siya ang conquest nitong si Philly. You know, I can say for a fact na si Philly, she's the one who fell first sa kanilang dalawa. Tapos itong si Jello, sumudod na lang siya. Kasi by the first time na nag-meet sila while they're going to a um, parang medical convention abroad, nakatabi niya tong si Philly. Tapos hindi talaga siya tinigilan. Eh, since he's very reserved, ayaw niya ng maingay. Pero ayun nga, like all rom-coms, eventually, magfo-fold din itong si Koya. And fold! he did. Kasi under his cold exterior, he's actually a caring character. Albeit very possessive siya pagdating kay, ano, kay Philly. Tapos, ang love language nitong si Mr. Jello ay feeding program. Wala siyang ginawa kundi pakainin tong si Philly. I mean, seriously, get a man who gives you free room service because let's be honest, that shit is expensive. Like, ladies, do not settle for less. Alam nyo, one man's you're too expensive for me is another man's that's all you need. That's all you need? That's all you want? Ladies, don't settle for less. Upgrades, ladies. Upgrade. O diba? He's so generous. Nagpapa-feeding program siya. At kasama sa package ng feeding program niya, pagpapakain ng jumbo hotdog niya. But that is reserved only for Philly's mouth and her bagaina. So, yun. <laughs> I mean, don't be shocked. Kasi normal na yun sa mga stories ito si Heartless Nostalgia. Girl, are you new here? Ayun nga lang, syempre, we need to hate something about this man. Kasi, hindi kompleto ang story kung hindi red flag ang mga male characters. So, sabi ni Heartless Nostalgia, I'ma make him undecisive. I'ma make him a Libra. So right after Philly and our generous host had their first ping pongan session, like let me read it for you. Ang context dito is kakatapos lang nila mag ping pongan. When I say ping pong, that means sex. That was a mistake. He started off stunning me. Huh? Napalunok ako. What we did, that was a mistake. He said it shouldn't have happened, but we can't do anything. Let's forget about it. Teka. Binasa ko ang pangibabang labi at sinuklay ng bahagya ang mahabang buhok. Ano ibig mo sabihin? Yung, yung ginawa natin? I, hindi mo ba ako gusto? He stared at me coldly. The darkness of it only intensified the mood from the sky above. I don't do relationships, Miss Suarez. I'm done with it. <laughs> Pero, di, di ba, sabi ko, gusto kitang ligawan? I asked. Kumikilot ng bahagya ang puso ko, pero hindi ko'y pinahahalata sa kanya. Na, I never told you to do that. He smirked. I'm not up to relationships, you know that. Sinabi ko na sa'yo noon, I fuck and I leave, Philomena. Marahas ako napalunok at tumitig sa mga mata niya. What about earlier? You were, you were gentle and sweet. Get lost, he spat nonchalantly. And I felt like I was struck by lightning while hearing that. Angelo, I sighed, composing myself. Can we talk about this? Nag naguguluhan ako. We're both matured adults, Philomena. He stated, sipping on his liquor. I noticed the grip on his glass tightened. You know it was a casual thing. You're not that naive with relationships, I think. I pursed my lips, heaving a controlled sigh. I is that what you always do, then? You, you treat someone special, yet in the end, you abandon them? What? Did I treat you special? He asked, lifting his brows. Namulsa pa siya sa maong ng pantalon. I didn't. And why would I abandon you if we don't have any relationship? We're getting along. I, I thought we're close now. We just met a few days ago, Philomena. You're not that special. Get lost. You're loud and annoying. It was like a slap for me. Hindi ko yun pinahalata. Itinaas ko ang baba habang pinagmamasdan siya at napatawa ng mahina. I really thought you're something else, Dr. Samaniego, I said, staring at him coldly. Eto, to be fair, let's be fair dito sa lalaking to, okay? Kasi prior to that ping-pongan session, 
Ilang beses na niya sinabi dito kay Philly na he's not interested, he's not into relationships and all that. So, bakit ba niya masyadong pinipilit itong si Jello? And she's acting like, alam mo yun, parang they know each other for so long enough for them to have a relationship, eh hindi naman talaga. So doon pumapasok yung naive na part nitong si Philly. Tsaka ayun nga, even though his dick is ready to be devoured, his heart is not. Dahil doon sa ex niya. So hindi talaga siya open for relationships. Kasi nga, hindi maganda yung naging turn out nung huli niyang relationship. Talagang minsan may pagkaengot lang talaga tong main character natin. At masyado siyang assuming. Kaya minsan naiinis din talaga ako sa kanya. <laughs> Ayun nga, he's got a point kasi kakamit lang nila just a few days ago. It's just been days. Tapos biglang na love at first dick itong main character dating. Like, girl, are you that thirsty? Like, that is so naive probinsya na trope. Parang ganun. Which I don't really support. Plus, naging masyadong bitter and cheap afterwards itong si ano, sino to? Si Philly. Anyway, sabi nga nitong si Habib Akande, don't be bitter. Be better. Pero syempre, hindi naman to magiging broken vow kung wala tayong super antagonist. Dito papasok ang kutong ex by the name of Sam or Samantha. It's almost three years, I think, he said. It's a good relationship at first, but it's getting out of hand. Even just in our first year. But we tried working it out since I'm willing to fix it. Nakikita kami minsan, tapos madalas ang hindi. I went with it and tried my best, but that relationship isn't for me. I feel like I'm just going with the flow. What happened then? She became demanding. I understand since kulang talaga ako sa oras sa kanya dahil sa trabaho. And I dealt with it the best I could. But when she asked me to forget work and focus on her, I lost it. I broke up with her. Sam is the ex of Jello, and I gotta hand it to this character. Kasi nagpakamaraya kay Risha at sinabi niya, We belong together, baby! Hindi nyo narinig yun. Hindi <laughs> nyo narinig yun. Okay, bilang isang kuto, umalis siya ng bansa tapos nagpakabuti siya. Hinanap niya ang sarili niya sa ibang bansa. Siguro kay pop idol tong si Sam kasi yung comeback niya sa buhay nitong si Jello. It's like Blackpink could never. Maybe he's changed, she said. But I came here because I wanted to inform you that until now, I want Dean back. It was my turn to heave a deep sigh. <sighs> I shook my head and stared at the sky. I won't give up Angelo that fast, Sam. Hindi porket nagbago ka na, ay hahayaan ko siyang mapunta sa'yo. I love him. And he is too. With me. Matapang kong sagot sa kabila ng alangan sa naririnig ko mula sa kanya. Ah, sa naririnig mula sa kanya. I'm glad you want to put up a fight for him, Philly. She smiled. Because he's mine now, Sam. Oo, ikaw ang nauna. Pero hindi dahil doon ay ikaw na rin dapat ang huli niya. <laughs> I'm not the kind of woman who will steal your man, Philly. But take care of Dean. And I love him dearly because I still want him. The audacity of this fucking character. Angelo is not the type of man na kung kailan mo gusto ay kukunin mo, Sam. I didn't know what more I could say to her. Angelo's mine. And I respect you as a woman. I don't like to have a fight with you for him, but... But? Her intense black eyes looked at me. But if you tried... Taking him from me? Lalaban ako. I said with a smile. Mukha lang ako mabait pero kapag may gusto akong kinukuha sa akin, hindi lang ako uupo sa tabi. Fuck yeah! So yeah, Sam's character, she's ballsy. Ballsy! Baka meron siyang tatlong itlog kasi grabe. Two balls are not enough. <laughs> Imagine, sabihin niya yun sa fiancé or sa asawa. I'm like, Girl, do you know your worth? Okay, themes of the story. So, dito sa story na to, meron tayong amnesia romance trope. Meron din tayong mga time skip, as I've said earlier, maybe months, maybe years, depende. And of course, meron tayong rom-com or romantic comedy. It really feels like yung mga, ang tawag doon, golden retriever girlfriend or boyfriend, tapos black cat boyfriend or girlfriend, parang ganon. Meron din siyang marital drama. And then yung mga comeback ng mga exes. Ito, hindi ko pa sure kung meron bang mabubuong love triangle between our main character 
and her love interest and another character dito sa story na to kasi part 1 pa lang to. So, I gotta have to wait for the part 2 to come out saka natin malalaman kung meron. Oh, and yeah, and meron tong mga sex scenes. They are not as descriptive as I was expecting it to be. Pero that's very common of heartless nostalgia stories, so this is still quite vanilla. I would say na conservative pa rin itong writer na to when it comes to sex scenes. So, there you go. Now it's time to rate the baby. So we have a Jello, a Philly, and the Sam. I will rate this book as a Philly. Kasi ito ah, mautak tong si Heartless Nostalgia kasi when it comes to writing her male characters, like Megan Cara, she knows how to drive her readers to root for her male characters. Albeit some of them or maybe most of them have uh, red flags. What do I mean by this? If you've read yung mga stories ni Heartless Nostalgia, let's be honest, let's admit na most of her um, notable male characters sa mga series niya, especially those from the Hot Bachelor series and the Sandeha Sibling series, lahat sila may mga red flags din. In this case, si Jello, he's undecisive and he's quite possessive. He's always going on about, don't talk to him, you're mine, you're mine alone, you're mine, Philomena. And I'm like, Sir, she's a doctor. She's a grown-ass woman. Uh, let her do her job kasi paano siya makakapagkaroon ng trabaho? I mean, paano siya magkakaroon ng trabaho kung hindi siya makikipag-usap sa mga tao? At saka doon sa mga earlier scenes, palagi niya sinasabi sa readers at saka doon nga kay Philly na, you know, I'm not interested in you. I don't want to be in a relationship. I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tapos mamaya, ayan, nagpipingpongan na sila. Tapos mamaya may mga I like yous na tayo nababasa like, dude, Make it clear. He is clearly sending mixed signals dito kay Philly, which is not cool. Pero itong si Heartless Nostalgia, napansin ko sa kanya, she's trying to clean her male characters by giving them uh, green flag traits na talagang part ng uh, female gaze. In this case, yes, Jello is cold, pero... Pero, aminin natin, whenever we see a guy or we read about a guy or a male character who is into kids, loves babies, ika nga dito, that's a green flag. Yes, Jello is reserved, pero when it comes to Philly, nagiging makulit siya, nagiging madaldal siya. Next is, merong um, part dito sa book na nag sila ni Philly, tapos he knows his worth. Kasi nung time na nagpaka-cheap dito sa Philly, ah, uh, wait, let me find that page. Sabi niya doon sa page 123, I'm done here, he said, with finality. Basta, for me, during 122, sobrang naging cheap doon ni Philly for me. Like, girl, just just shut up. Masyado kang asyumera kasi eh. So, I'm like, nung, nung sinabi niya yun na I'm done here, I'm like, that's my man. I appreciate yung mga male characters na they know their worth and they don't take shit for nothing. At saka gusto ko yung he's open to communications when it comes to their relationship. Example nito yung do sa page 118 at saka sa page 119. Alam nyo, meron akong specific scene dito sa libro na to na talagang gusto gusto ko. Let me read it for you because it's kind of like badass. Akin si Angelo Philomena. I was a mess when we separated. I'd never love again if it isn't him. So like I told you before, I'll get him, whatever it takes. If I get the chance, and this is it. He's in love with me, and I'm sure of that. And don't worry, he'll divorce you soon to be with me. Kahit masakit man, ay nakuha ko pang matawa sa sinabi niya. I heard you became matured. Really? Ayan na yon. Todo na yan. Her lips pursed. Umawang ang labi niya sa narinig. <laughs> I guess not. Or, if you do, which I couldn't see right now, be woman enough and not wish to be a mistress. You're not that low, are you? You... You! He'll break up with you! I swear, she hissed. Eh di hintayin mo muna kami maghiwalay bago ka kumalantari sa may asawa, Sam. I raised my brow. Wait for him to be single. That's if my husband would let me go. I'd never let him go either. So, hindi ko alam kung para saan yung pinaglalaban mo. You're a bitch! She scoffed. Akala mong bait-bait, pero nasa loob pala ang kulo. I don't even get why he even chose to marry you. 
Me either. I don't get why my husband has an ex like you. I smiled coldly. And she cursed under her breath and turned her back on me. Nagdabog. Paalis. So, ayon. I kinda like that scene. Talagang peste ang mga kabet. <laughs> Talagang <laughs> Once again, The Broken Vow by Heartless Nostalgia, published under Bliss Books, the official Wattpad partner here in the Philippines. So, 199 pesos lang sa suking tindahan, Anvil Publishing, Shopee, Lazada, National Bookstore. Hindi ko alam kung meron na nationwide, pero I think, yeah, I think meron naman na ata. Hindi ko lang sure kung... Kailan ni-deliver? I have no idea. Hindi ako on delivery people. So, yun. 